everyone, it's me, Kelly, again with Kelly Tin and Consulting. And we've been talking this month about how to leverage different generations in the workforce, how to leverage those strengths that we all bring to teams and organizations. The last thing that I wanted to talk about this month before we journey on to some other topics in the coming weeks are skill development. So last week we talked about mentoring. And mentoring is very valuable and I think one way that we can definitely build skills in the workplace. But how do we capture that institutional knowledge? I mean, we all have institutional knowledge. We all have things that we bring to the workplace, prior knowledge that we bring to the table. How do we capture it? We want to definitely leverage this information that people bring to the table because it can help develop our peers and benefit the company in terms of secession planning or benefit our organization, I should say, in terms of secession planning. So bringing new people into the fold. It's just course of nature. People retire, people shift in the job market and teams and organizations, they re really need to ensure that they've captured that institutional knowledge within their company for their future workers. We can do that by leveraging the knowledge that all of the different workers within our organization have. How do we do that? Well, we also can do that by helping to develop the skills of our team and capturing that knowledge as we develop the skills of our team. Thinking about how do we identify high performers and how do we get them engaged in the process of skill development? So we've identified a couple of individuals, let's say, that are doing really well. Their values align with the values of the company and vice versa. We really see some opportunity to get them engaged and get them kind of moving through the ranks. How can we do that? Maybe we give them some opportunities to help with an event, give them a stretch assignment. Maybe we ask them to help create some SOPs for the work that they have been doing as part of that particular stretch assignment. So that can be uh, one way that we can capture some of that institutional knowledge uh, for sure. Uh, cross training. So maybe we have some individuals that have been doing a role for some time and maybe we we cross train. And so we have some other individuals from another department come in and learn about what that particular department is doing. So we have some cross training and some sharing of that institutional knowledge. And the other thing that can be kind of a double benefit from that is maybe those individuals might have some insights to share that the other team isn't seeing because we all eventually get our, get and have our own blind spots when you know we develop some mastery over things that we've been doing over time. These are all things that can help build our pipeline for succession. I think the idea too is to also, when you have kind of those intermingling of individuals with different pieces of institutional knowledge, you're also kind of challenging that status quo, challenging the way that we've always done things, not just creating that pipeline for up and comers or to make sure that specific, you know, specific areas are going to have the staff that they need in the future, but it helps us to challenge ways of thinking and to generate new ideas. And I think that there's a lot of value in that in the organization and skill development and developing that institutional knowledge and sharing knowledge across the board, I think is really valuable. Tell me ways that you think institutional knowledge can be shared across organizations and what's worked for you or maybe where you're having some challenges. I'd love to hear from you again. If you like this content, subscribe to our newsletter, follow us on YouTube and social media. You can always visit us on the web at kellytinnon.com. And I look forward to seeing you next week.